Now, as I have told you, oh, wait a minute, we gotta wait a little bit. Cause it's just hitting and people are just getting in here. So we gotta wait. Not that I'm not happy for the people that are here now. I'm just saying that, you know, people are gonna be piling in. So let me not get started right away. <laughs> you know, don't blame me. You know, people, some people are just getting on. They're like, hold on, wait a minute, don't get into it. Just get off work. Screw you, boss. All right, go ahead, Zeno. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like the page. Um, we got a great video that's basically talking about the Lakers, you know, and Chris Paul tanking. And we were saying this before the series happened. You know, I was saying, man, I hope that ain't the case. Like, I, I don't want that to be a reality. Like, I don't want Chris Paul to be taking games. Like, I don't want that to be true. So I'm not somebody that's in, uh, like a fan of that. But it just seems like they'll do better if he didn't play at all. Like let him sit down. He needs to sit this one out. So, you know, the fans ain't giving him no slack. Especially Phoenix fans. They they 100% believe him. See, no, he is tanking. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Like, I'm watching it. I'm like, I didn't even watch tonight. So, I already knew what was coming. You know, I'm just pissed. I got screwed on the Denver game. And I'm so hot about that. I'm so hot. I bet that wrong. I bet the under. And it just went over. Just went over. And it was on cusp to be under all night long. I saw oh, this finna go under. And then they both scored 36 points in the fourth quarter. I'm sick as a dog right now. Sick. Sean cost me that game. Well, anyway, let's get to why we're here. Joseph Button. <laughs> Come on down. Now, as you know, I'm not a Joe Budden fan whatsoever. Sometimes he says things I agree with. Sometimes he says things I don't. But I do not support his show anymore. I do not support people that go around and beat on women, that sabotage their phone boys, that helped build him to what he is. I really believe that what he's doing was wrong, but hey, it is what it is. So anyhow, Charlemagne came out and said that Joe Budden has burned all his bridges with him. In which Joe Budden responded. Now, I did not watch the Joe Budden podcast. As I once said and stated earlier before, this was provided to me by a link someone sent to me. And in the link, it went as such. And made this statement saying that you gotta check this out. Joe Budden is going in on Charlemagne. So I listened to it. Joe Budden talked about Charlemagne and how Charlemagne through his whole all these years have always sided with people that was against him when the chips was down on Joe. He was always dumping on Joe. Right? Then Joe pointed out all of these times that he sided with Charlemagne. Even when he done all these things to him. He kept siding with Charlemagne. 
and his new co-host is saying, dog, if somebody was keep snaking you, why the hell do you keep siding with them? Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, why do you keep going back to do business with this man, smiling and, and doing shows? <laughs> and that brought up a great point because that is exactly how a normal human being would speak. But Joe said he had to play along. Listen. That was very telling. Joe said sometimes you got to play along. He had to play nice. But now Joe realizes something that other people don't realize. He doesn't need Charlemagne. <laughs> And he basically put him in the perspective like Charlemagne believes me and him are on the same level. Joe put himself in the frame of hedge fund owners, people that own hedge funds. He put himself in that category. And the reason why he put himself in that category is very simple. Because those are the type of people that Joe Budden is trying to rub shoulders with to be investors with. See, Joe wants to maintain ownership in what he has. But here's the kicker. Joe doesn't understand. He's learning how to run a business. But at the same time, the people that are at risk are the people that are working for Joe. You got all these other characters, all these other lives that you're responsible for. Now it's up to you to provide. <laughs> and if you don't, whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that you didn't provide? It's Joe's fault. Joe knows that. It falls right on his lap. Joe's not a fool. He knows all of this falls on him. But he doesn't want you to make but a certain amount of money. So now he wants to put everybody else on salary. Because he screwed up and started that, you know, we're going to do an equity-based contract. Because as the show grows, the more Jake and Joe got to pay out. Joe don't like that. So now Joe wants to find a reason to fire his former co-host who could sue the hell out of him and get money out of Joe. But as Joe was going off on Charlemagne, one thing that was constant, like they said, if you want to know the truth, put two liars in the room and let them start going at each other. You go hear nothing but the truth come out. They'll be telling the truth about each other. Exposing each other. And that's what they doing. These are two liars that's sitting there, two hypocrites going back and forth exposing each other and telling the truth about themselves Joe's right he's not on the same level as Charlemagne Joe has an opportunity to be bigger than Charlemagne in every sense of the word he has the opportunity to be he owns his own thing. Charlemagne does not. 
That black network thing that's hooked up with iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio put Charlemagne in charge with his 51% so he can hold his face up there and claim this is about this is a black network for black people. For black streaming services. We need a black platform to go watch black stuff. Man, anybody goes there is a fool. I wouldn't support anything Charlemagne has put his hand in. Because it's, it's not coming from a good place. You know, they say even the devil do good deeds. Okay. So you see these clowns come out. Man, Charlemagne's a good dude, man. He once, man, he helped me out, man. He looked out for me. He got me in the club that one time, man. Charlemagne, man. Clowns. Absolute clowns. They want to defend him because he didn't rub their balls one day. He did that so you could owe him a favor down the road. He didn't put his neck on the line for you. Did he? Go see him when it's something where he got to put his, put something up or risk something. He ain't going to be there for you. But Joe started going into mental health and talking about Charlemagne attacking people with mental health. Mm. And Joe starts to go on that as a man who suffered from mental health, how hard that could be and, and all of his mental health attacks. And all of these things, like, attacking someone who's going through mental health is not a good thing. You know, this was always discussed. But now, it went and took a whole new turn. You see, it took an entirely new turn. And this is why it took a new turn. I'm glad you guys are here so you can hear this. This is why it all took a new turn. Because right then and there, I heard the hypocrisy. Most people missed it, but I heard it. And the reason why I heard it is because I already knew beforehand. Some people need a refresher course. Now, who made songs, rap songs about mental health, depression, the whole nine? A mixed kid named Logic. Right? Joe used to make fun of Logic, saying Logic can't rap, he can't make songs, and constantly, constantly bashed Logic, who was suffering from mental health issues, and he talked about it on every al album, so it wasn't something that wasn't known, Joe knew it, and then, as he was destroying him, he automatically said, oh, I take back everything I said about Logic and uh, just out of the blue. But you have been attacking Logic for years. Attacking a man with mental health. Um, quickly, he forgets all of it when it doesn't fit his narrative. When he feels like he's the victim, now you're blaming Charlemagne for coming after you. And talking about mental health, playing the mental health card. Come on, Joe. You gotta do better. You gotta do better than that, Joe. But what do you expect? Two punks doing what punks do. And then they got another punk that's in the middle just juggling their balls. Because he gonna need something from either from both of them. Like I'ma need y'all. I lost my job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> you got fired. Facts. <laughs> How you get fired on your day off, boy? I guess that Hennessy really getting to you, huh? Huh, Secret Squirrel? Damn shame. Well, 
don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the page hit the notification bell all of those wonderful things the super chats working the cash app is carcino the carcino for life patreon is on fire everything is burning up right now we got it on lock baby <laughs> we got it on lock shouts out to at kwame brown bus life for always giving us our do, just do you know giving us our respect giving us our flowers giving us everything we need to keep moving forward and letting these people know that the real is here the real is already online While all the fake is running around out here manipulating the public for years the real has been here giving it to y'all the way y'all wanted it it don't stop don't stop don't stop Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. That's way before y'all time. Uh, DMX record, um, his album comes out tonight, or it's probably already out. Yeah, man, I heard a lot. I heard a lot at that time, you know, so... We'll see what it is, you know. There's a lot of people out there, you know, making music and trying to keep things moving, man. Other people are sitting back making excuses. Like, man, I I wanted to do something, man, but I'm going to do something tomorrow, man. Well, you know, you, you got people like that. You got people that come in there, they on that sucker stuff every now and then. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just... You know, ride the wave, see what's what, and see what shakes. I've tried, I've tried to be a stand up individual everywhere I've been, and I think I've done a very good job of it. I mean, I've talked to my homeboy who I haven't talked to in six years. Shouts out to Beans. Uh, actually, it's been about five years, but still. Shouts out to Beans. Shouts out to my boy Juan. Juan Vargas. Holding it down out there in the world. With his family. His new wife and kids. I appreciate it man. He's been hitting me up on Facebook lately. You know since they sending my notifications out. People are seeing it. Spank. He's somewhere in Florida. Shouts out to him. Hope he's doing alright. Keeping his head up. Yeah, so, you know, we just gonna keep it moving, man. That's all we know how to do. That's all we know how to do is keep it moving. So. I'm a holler at y'all. I'm finna go in the strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Dude was like man Is this live or is this premiered It's premiered sucker <laughs> Difference doesn't make the information Don't change You see The power is in the word Job <laughs> yeah I am strip club royalty I shouldn't be going here but I had a bad day so I need some I need to get cheered up real quick cheered up real quick damn it's packed it is damn packed tonight. Damn. I wasn't expecting all of this.
Alright. Hey, how's it going, boss? It's going pretty good. Would you like six dollars regular parking? Or yeah, yeah. Your friend? No, no, this is the regular park. Okay. And I'll pay you when I get out. Yeah. Alright. What's up, man? I'm hanging in there, baby. Fight could be coming up. 